I want to get back to Betty Lou in San Francisco now. Thank you so much, P Peter Cook. Uh, Betty, as the economy continues to slow and we've got this uh, sort of steady recovery process, I know this is something that you're looking into uh, in terms of businesses' ability to turn profits. Uh, that's right. They need to turn a profit and they need to trim their costs in order to get to those profits. Well, one San Francisco startup uh, is helping to do just that over the cloud. Coupa Software's customers range from the container store to the Colombian government and today is announcing a new partnership with healthcare giant Sanofi. CEO Rob Bernstein joins us now uh, with more. Actually, you've got two announcements, right? You have Sanofi and also you just closed what your latest round of funding. We did. We just closed the $40 million round of funding. It's a growth stage investment that's going to allow us to expand uh, around the world and, and take advantage of this, this huge opportunity we have. Okay, so what's the advantage? <laughs> well, the advantage is huge. You know, if you look at companies, large or small, around the world, you walk into a, a cubicle at one of these companies, you walk into an office, you ask someone, how do you buy the goods and services you need to do your job? Right. From IT equipment, marketing, lawyer fees. You get a hundred different answers. I ask my boss, I send an email. We've gotten in front of that process with highly usable software that's accessible via the web that allows them to order these things, simple shopping cart experience, and route them. But route order, them. order what exactly? Order. order any of these items. It could be a laptop. It could be a mobile phone. Um, we have companies that are doing very, very interesting, uh, interesting things. We have the zoo that's ordering, uh, you know, the mice that they feed some of I was their exhibits. Say animals. <laughs> You would not believe the kinds of things that run through our system. We're doing now tens of billions of dollars in spend through this platform around the world. And we're helping these companies optimize their spend. Okay. We're getting to levels of 100% you know, spend under management for many of these companies. Hmm. They're able to save up to 10 cents on every dollar in terms of their spending. Okay, well, given, I mean, you know, if you're talking about a billion dollar company or more, I mean, you know, and, and, and even less than that, I mean, that is a lot of money that you that can be saved. But uh, where is the greatest demand that you're seeing? Well, we're seeing demand across the board. The smaller companies are coming to us because they want to get compliance, they want to get spend under control quickly. We have companies like Box and Square here in Silicon Valley, right. Cadence, Juniper, and others. And then we see larger companies, healthcare organizations, that need to get all of their spending management, syringes, scrubs at hospitals, hospital beds, these things need to be ordered and they need to be ordered at price points that make sense and they need to be delivered very, very quickly. We support that entire process for these companies. So you've just closed your, your round of, what, what number round of funding is this that we're talking about? Well, this is a $40 million round and okay. in total the company has raised $87 million. Okay. Of that we still have 15 in the bank, so we've only spent about a third of, of what we have. Uh, so now we're going to really uh, address this opportunity full throttle. Well, Rob, where are you gonna where are you gonna put this money to work? Well, a couple of different areas. One, we've doubled our R&D capacity in the last nine months, and we plan to double R&D again in the next year. We see a huge opportunity to build a whole host of other applications around this transactional spend. For example, reverse auctioning or tracking of inventory for all of these items at companies. Spend analytics, our supplier network. Secondly, we're going to expand globally. Uh, we have a pretty good footprint now in Europe. We're going to go wider. We're going to go into Asia. And we've gotten some really good indicators in Latin America. As you mentioned with the Colombian government, we're going to go wider into Latin America as well. Uh, and are you going to be hiring? Absolutely. We're going to be hiring rapidly. Okay, and how many employees do you have now? We have a few hundred today, okay. and we're looking to grow by about 50% or so by the beginning of next year. All right, okay. Well, another growth story here for yourself, actually, uh, in Silicon Valley. Rob, just stay with me for a moment, because we're going to talk more. Rob Bernstein, the CEO of Coupa Software. Rob Bernstein is uh, back with me, the CEO of Coupa Software, a San Francisco-based company that provides cloud-based financial solutions to healthcare facilities around the world. And actually, Rob, you mentioned earlier about what you're doing with healthcare companies, right? So uh, have you been surprised or impressed by how the White House has been able to get healthcare.gov back online after that fiasco? Well, I've been impressed by the recovery effort. I think the idea of setting very clear success criteria of what it's going to take to get this deployed after the fiasco we saw was the right move. Mm -hmm. And now what we're seeing with the president going out and marketing it effectively to rebuild trust, rebuild confidence, to get people on the site is exactly the right move. And so hopefully it'll work out. But have you assessed, is it going to, I mean, I've ne I have never heard a straight answer on this. Is it going to cost companies more or less? 
Well, some companies it'll cost more, some companies it'll cost less. But uh, the spirit okay. of it, the spirit of it, I think, <laughs> the spirit of it, I think, is, is the right one. It's to make sure that uh, we have a real focus on social welfare in this country. And right. capitalism doesn't run amok completely here, and we need to take care of our people. So right? the biggest question that you get from healthcare companies that you're working with, then, because I mean, your job is you you go in and you say, look, this is where I can save you money. In the midst of all this reform, what is the biggest question that they have for you? Well, one of the biggest questions they have for us is how do we save money in places we didn't even know we could save money in? We deal with companies that have billions of dollars in spend and they don't have their arms around it. They don't know where it's going. They have maverick spend happening any, everywhere. You know, best in class companies have 45 to 50 percent of their indirect spend under management. We're getting companies to 85, under 90, management? that they actually know where the spend is going. Only so half of it. Exactly. Okay. It's an amazing statistic. People are, there are companies out there that I know of personally. But why does that happen? Well, because what happens is you have thousands of, of suppliers around the world and people are ordering things from those suppliers, the marketing team, the finance group, the sales team, and centrally there's no understanding of where those preferred supplier savings could be recognized. Okay. They haven't gotten their arms around it. We're helping them do that. Uh, I interrupted you there though, but you said personally you what? You were, you were going to mention a, a story? No, I would say that, 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 that personally, when you go into these types of conversations with, 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 with customers, they don't even know the opportunity. Many of them pride okay. themselves on paying suppliers very quickly. And then you say, wait a minute, you've been overpaying, you know, you, 20, 30 percent. Or you may never have even ordered the goods and services. The AP department feels so happy about the fact that they just paid in 24 <laughs> to 48 hours. They may never have gotten the, the good of service or it may actually be broken, never arrived wow. to the warehouse. It's amazing how broken some of these processes are. We're, we're helping them with that. You know, Rob, so I've spent a couple of days in San Francisco and, um, and I've been here before, but I've actually not, not done a, a, any reporting here before. However, um, you know, I noticed that there's great development going on right now. I mean, even where we are, this, these offices, I mean, it used to be sort of, you know, it used to be kind of um, a place where that, it was undeveloped, let's put it that way, right. to put it in a politically, politically correct term. Uh, given all that we've heard so far about this, this wage gap and Tom Perkins speaking out for the, for the tech elite, uh, how are tech leaders actually trying to uh, sort of bring this, this income gap down? Well, I think, first of all, it begins with recognition that there is such a gap. And it takes extreme cases like the rich stepping up as well as some of those that are less fortunate stepping up and saying, look, we need to be aware of this. We need to have some understanding of social welfare in this city, right? And then those leaders at these technology companies stepping up and leading and, and folks like uh, visionaries like Mark Benioff and others who are coming out and saying, look, we need to do something about yeah. this. The folks at Google And they're trying to something. be on the forefront. All right, Absolutely. Rob, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Rob Bernstein, the CEO of Coupa Software. We'll be back in two minutes on In the Loop live from San Francisco.